Hey there friends, in today's video we are going to be resetting this Airport Extreme base station from Apple to its factory default settings. It's a very simple process. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so for this process, you're gonna actually need to be pushing down the little reset button on the back using, uh, today's video, I'm gonna be using this hairpin, but you can use a pen or uh, anything that's kind of sharp and has the ability to push down this tiny little reset button on the back here that's located just to the right of the power cord. Now, let's go through the process really quick. Currently, I have this unplugged. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be pushing down that button and while the button is pressed down, I'm gonna be plugging in the base station to the outlet. It's gonna take roughly five seconds after you plug it in where you need to continue to hold down this little button. Once the five seconds has elapsed, you can go back on the front and we're gonna see this little button here flash amber, meaning that the base station has officially been reset to factory settings. So that's the process. Let's go ahead and walk through it really quickly with you. Okay, so what I'm gonna to do to make things easier is actually place this on its side, and that way I can push down on our little button here with the hairpin. So I'm gonna push down, you'll feel it click, and then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it into the wall outlet here. Okay, at this point we can lift up while I'm still holding down, and you, as you can see on the very bottom there, there's a little amber light. I'm gonna hold until we see that flash. There we go, that's about five seconds. And at this point I can release, and now this is currently ready with its factory default settings. You can go into your airport utility now on your Mac and go ahead and walk through the setup process. Or if you're gonna be selling this slash donating it, giving it away, it's now ready to be given to its new owner. All right, friends, thanks so much for watching. If this has helped, hit that thumbs up button for me. It helps us know we're making good videos and subscribe because we've got a lot more Apple tutorials, tips, tricks coming up really soon. Thanks for watching.